Why 80s babies are different than other millennials? This one's for all of us who grew up at the cusp of modern technology. As a child growing up in the 1980s our life was vastly different than from the world we know now. We have suddenly become one of those old people who lived before the internet was a thing. Yet the more time passes, the more we look back on those days with so much fondness and nostalgia. Back when we were young, children were seen but not heard. We were taught to respect our elders and do what we were told. We didn't dare to talk back. Parents didn't pamper kids and children didn't think they had rights. At school, teachers could still smack you if you didn't behave. And parents never complained about the discipline system at school or report cards. Kids were encouraged to go outside to play after school in the streets and expected to be home in time for dinner. We wouldn't wear watches so the moment the sun went down and street lights came on, that was our signal that our outside playtime was over. We rode our bikes everywhere throughout the neighborhood. We didn't wear helmets. We didn't wear knee pads or elbow pads. We didn't have booster seats. If we got grazed knees, our parents didn't always bother with band-aids. We would walk home alone after training and parents would assume we would get home safe. Back then, there was no internet. There certainly wasn't anything called Wi-Fi. There were no iPads. There were no mobile phones. Phones were attached to the wall with cords, which meant you couldn't move more than two meters from the kitchen or living room. Every conversation happened in the center of your house with your whole family listening in. You had to write letters to your friends and family members overseas because phone calls were too expensive. Every teen girl had a pen pal that they confessed their deepest secrets to. We had diaries that we kept hidden under the mattress of our bed. For some reason we all thought that was the best hiding spot in the world when it was obviously not. If you wanted to listen to your music you either turned on the radio or listened to your cassette collection. Our Walkmans were our most prized possessions, though they needed plenty of batteries to keep them running. We would wait all day just to record our favorite song on our blank cassette. There was no social media. You had no idea what your friends were up to on the weekends. You had no idea if you were missing out on something important. We were obsessed with learning new string tricks like the cat's cradle. We used Encyclopedia Britannica's as our go-to reference when doing school reports. At the library, we had to search for books using an old wooden card catalog. Kids were in love with the comic section of the newspaper. We collected other comics like Archie and Betty and Veronica. It was normal to send the kids to go to the shops on their own to pick supplies. Chocolate and lollies were super special treats. Fast food or takeaway wasn't a done thing. Everything was cash. There were no credit cards. At the shops, the cashier had to manually type in the price that the item sticker said. People still had to manually win their windows down in the car. People didn't have house or car alarms. You could leave the house and leave the front door unlocked. The world all in all still we felt safe. In 80s that less was more. The books were the best. The TV shows were the best. The music was the best. The fashion was crazy and we didn't care how bad we looked. To the contrary, we thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And the best things in life are truly free. Yes, the 80s were a gold mine of wonder, and undoubtedly the best decade for a child to grow up in. Ever.